Hey guys, we're doing a lipstick declutter today and I basically have two drawers of lip products. This one, which is mainly lipsticks, and then this one underneath, which is like lip glosses and like liquid, not liquid lipsticks, but lips, lippies in like liquid form. Um, but we're just gonna be doing this because I think this is gonna take long enough today. These aren't even all of my uh, lipsticks. Hi, Fuzzy Butters. Um, I have like all of my Pat McGrath lipsticks on my Pat McGrath shelf over there. I'm not getting rid of any of those, so we don't need to talk about those, but someone, do you wanna help declutter lipsticks maybe? Uh, but you can see that this is a bit of a mess. And I don't have any goals like, you know, I want everything to fit in here perfectly. I just want to go through these and make sure I don't have any lip products that are like rancid or anything. So uh, before we get started, I just want to mention that I use these acrylic Ikea Alex drawer organizers from Sunny Cosmetics. This is the lipstick one. I think this one holds 96 lipsticks. And I actually just got a coupon code and affiliate link for Sunny Cosmetics. So if you are in the market for some IKEA Alex drawer organizers from Sunny, I do like them a lot. I use them in most of my drawers. I think I have like five of them, like I bought a set of them. And I think they're great. I think they're really great quality, but I'll leave all the information for the link and the coupon code down below in my description box. Let's go ahead and get started. This is um, pretty crazy looking. So I'm gonna just kind of clear, start to clear off the top of this stuff because I have a lot of lipsticks that are just sort of laying on top and not in the organizer. So I'm just gonna start there. So I have a bunch of these um, Guerlain La Petite Robe lipsticks and I love these. They're sheer and they have a pretty heavy fragrance, but it's a fragrance that doesn't actually bother me. It's like a little fruity, a little florally. Um, there's no taste to it. I think that's when I really hate fragrance and lipsticks. So anyway, I like these and this one still smells good and the pigmentation is still nice. This is color number 17. I don't know if they have the actual color name on here. No, it's just color number 17. So hold on to that. This one's number 13. That one's so pretty. I got these last last summer and yeah, they're still doing well. They smell okay. We have my Edward Bess uh, Night Romance lipstick. This one is really pretty. It's just a really pretty like rosy color. I really like these Edward Bess. Um, I think they're called like ultra slick lipsticks. They're just, they go on really nicely. They're cream, but they're really pigmented and um, there's, you know, not, they're not matte at all, but they definitely like last a pretty long time. So anyway, holding on to that, holding on to, oh, Nude Lotus. This is one of my favorite nude colors. That one right there. Here is a Kogan Doe lipstick. This is in color BE403. Uh, so this is a really nice creamy um, kind of, I don't want to say sheer because there's definitely pigmentation there, but they're on, um, they're not like, like the ever best cream lipsticks. There's definitely a little less uh, pigment going on there, but they're super comfortable and I really love these. And then here is a Louboutin lipstick. I don't, <laughs> I don't know if there's any labeling here um, but I do love this color it's like a really cool toned nude color it's really pretty and I like this formula it's very very nice I don't know if it's that special but it is very nice I have no complaints here is a Tom Ford sitting on top which one is this oh seventh sin this is an older one. Oh, this one actually still smells okay surprise surprise so this is one of my favorite Tom Ford colors it's like a copper metallic color with like micro glitters in there. It's so pretty. I have a bunch of these little baby ones. I have Casablanca and Spiced Honey. I have a big one of Casablanca. This is a really beautiful color too. And Spiced Honey. I don't think I've used. I think this one is a little bit too like peachy light for me. Here is one of my Guerlain lipsticks. I love these cases. They like pop open so that there's like a mirror in there. So cool. And then this I think was like a limited edition holiday color. Again, I don't think there's any label on here. Oh wait, number 92 is the color. This one is really pretty. A frosty kind of peachy shade, very pretty. And then speaking of Guerlain, another one, I love this gold like fabric case. Um, this one is number 777. And this is actually the first Rouge G lipstick that I got. It's this insane like gold color, but it's a lot of fun. All of these smell good still. So hold on to that. Here is a Bobbi Brown crushed lip color in Ruby. This is like a deluxe sample size. 
I am definitely in the minority here, but I don't think I actually like this formula. I think these are a little bit drier than I like on my lips, but they're like this kind of pigmented, sheer kind of like lip product. I just thought they'd be much more moisturizing. They're they're okay. It's not like a, they're a matte lipstick, but they end up a little bit drying on my lips. So I don't know. The jury is still out. I'm like not 100% sure how I feel about these. So I'm going to hold on to this, maybe give it a shot. And then I have my Tom Ford fucking fabulous lipstick, which I love. I love this color. Look how beautiful that red is. Such a beautiful red. Love that. And while we're there, here is the Lost Cherry Lipstick, which is a little bit more, teensy bit more blue toned than the fucking Fabulous, but it has also a little bit of shimmer in it. Really beautiful. Oh, here's another Guerlain La Petite Robe Lipstick. I think this is in the shade 002. Yeah, this is such a pretty sheer pink color really great for like spring summer miss butters do you mind do you like the scent of these two this one still smells good as well all right let's bring all these forward here oh here's another kogendo in the color rs201 this one is a little bit warmer than the other one that's rs201 so pretty these should be fine i got these recently oh these are all the rouge coco flashes and the rouge coco shines yeah so here are the two older ones these are the two shines that i have this is 96 aura which is like a dark dark purpley color that one still smells good and then we have deville 67 i like that color that one is a good one still smells good thank goodness and then here are two of the newer flashes this is 204 deepness just kind of like a black color this is like a tone color like a layering color and then this one is 106 dominant i do like these rouge coco flash uh, lipsticks from chanel more than their shine so they brought out these flashes to replace the shine and I do actually like them better. I was a little bit terrified that they were going to be worse, that it wasn't going to be an improvement, but it is actually an improvement over the older formula. And actually, I think I have some of my other flashes here. Yep. So this one is Boy number 54, which is such a good one. Such a great everyday nude. I absolutely love it. And then this one is 200, 200? Yeah, 200 light up. This is just like the deepness it's like a tone up kind of color. So I don't think you could see it, but it has like a little bit of a shimmer shift in there. Really, really pretty on its own or on top of something else. Really great. And then I have this uh, Rodin lipstick. This was a collaboration with Vanessa Trena and this is in the color Peonia. And you can see the mess that it's made here because this lipstick is so soft that whenever I apply it, it like bends the actual bullet back, but I love it. It's like this sheer, I'm gonna try and be gentle with it, this sheer like cool toned rose pinky color. It's so pretty. I just wish it wasn't quite this soft that it basically just whoop, like melted backwards. Fuzzy butters. Why don't you come sit over here? That was very nice when you were sitting over here. I have this uh, Chantecai uh, lip crystal in citrine. I love this. It's so pretty. It's like a peachy, frosty, beautiful lip color. I just love it. So keeping that, that's relatively new. And then I have, oh, another Edward Vest. This is in, oh, Pure Impulse. This is a really pretty nude color as well. A little bit deeper than that nude Lotus. Oh, another Rouge Coco Flash. Oh, and 53 Chicness. This is another really pretty nude color. There is Chicness. Here is um, the Givenchy Le Rouge Liquid in Orange Plumetis. I think I'm going to declutter this. This was that weird uh, liquid creamy product that would come out of the middle of this like sponge tip and it was it's just a like a messy product and it doesn't go on the lips easily and it's just it's just odd it's just really really odd the color is beautiful but i'm not a fan of this whole situation so i'm going to get rid of this so i have a couple of these um ysl tatouage couture metallics this one is in 104 
And I was really excited for these and I love the formula and I just haven't gotten a chance to use them. So that is 104. Miss Butters, you're kind of in the way. And then this one is 105. There is 105. These both still smell okay, so I'm gonna hold on to those. And oh, what's this? Another Rouge Coco Flash. Oh, number 56 moment. This is like more of a mid-tone nude color. Another really beautiful one. And then what is this? This is, oh, this is the Kosas lipstick in Undone. Uh, I am not a fan of this. I don't like the formula. I find it a little bit too thick and too drying. Uh, the color is very pretty, but I can almost feel how thick it is like on my hand right here. So I'm going to get rid of this. And then I have some lipsticks up here. <laughs> these are all my uh, Le Bouche Rouge uh, refills that are, these two are empty. This one is WR06. Oh, I love this. Look how pretty that color is. It's like a brownish red. Oh my gosh, I have to pull this one out. This one is so, so beautiful. All my La Bouche Rouge lipsticks are on my shelf also, which I'm not getting rid of. So um, I'm gonna hold on to these cases. And I just purchased this Killian lipstick. They just came out with a new lipstick line. This is one of the uh, cream color ones. This is in 150 Devil Rouge. This is the darkest color that they have. And I like this. It's very, smells like toasted marshmallow. And I found that it bled a little bit, but as long as I put lip liner on, it's fine. So I'm gonna hold on to this. It's a really like dramatic kind of color, which I like. Miss Butters, do you like that toasted marshmallow scent? All right, we have another Guerlain La Petite Robe Noir uh, in shade five. And this is like a clear uh, topper. It has like an iridescence to it. it. It's so pretty. I don't know if you can see it. I don't have direct lighting down here, but gonna hold on to that. Another Kogan Doe in PK303. So this is going to be a little bit pinkier. So pretty. And then, oh, my friend Daniel sent this to me. This is a, an Armani uh, Lucky Red, Red 405 color. This is like the most primary red I think I have. Doesn't lean cool or warm in any way. It's like totally neutral red. And then I have a couple of my Sisley lip colors here. I have 11 actually, which is up there. I'm not getting rid of it, um, but this is number 41. This is a red that is a little bit on the warm side. You can see it next to the Armani there. And then here is number 33, Orange Sevilla, which is like one of my favorite lipsticks of all time. I just love that color. Let me pull this forward here. Um, oh, I see a couple lip products fell back here. I have another Guerlain La Petite Robe Noir. This is in the shade 11. I think this is the first one I got that kind of set off my fever for these, but it's just a really beautiful nude. Miss Butters, what's going on, baby? I think you like the smell of these. And then here's another YSL Tatouage Couture. This is not a metallic. This is a matte stain and this is in number 23 and i really enjoy this formula it's so so interesting it's thin but it covers well it's just it's so cool and i got my name engraved all right so oh my gosh these are all my tom fords up here not even all of them as you saw and i actually have a whole video it's probably a little bit old at this point but i don't think this has changed that much so I'm gonna jump and not cover the Tom Ford at the moment because I think this video is going to be incredibly long. Please comment if you want like another separate Tom Ford lipstick video, but I have one and I will link it um, up here for you guys. Okay, so I'm gonna jump to this section right here. So these are a couple of the Decorte uh, lippies. This is in color SP050. This has actually appeared in one of my favorites, but this is just such a beautiful topper. I don't think you guys can see it, but it has like a pearly, like slightly pinky kind of sheen to it. And it's so beautiful. And here is PK856. This one has a little bit of a pink tinge to it. Really beautiful. I love the formula of these and the packaging is so cool, isn't it? Then I have some NARS lipsticks. This was the collaboration with Erdem. So I have 
moon orchid and all of these are on the sheer side and i just i just love it they're really comfortable beautiful easy to wear that's moon orchid and then i have voodoo lily i love this one this is like a cool toned lilac gray color and then we have carnal carnation which is like a bright red but again, it's kind of sheer, so it's one of those really easy to wear reds. And then, oh, I have this Jennifer Lopez um, Inglot collab. This is in Dolce J203. This is one of those nudes that kind of borders on it being a little bit too orange for me, but I can kind of, you know, fix it with a cooler toned lip liner and some lip gloss on top, but I definitely don't reach for this that often. I wonder if I should just get rid of this. It smells okay. You know what? I'll see if any of my friends want this. Any of the lipsticks I'm getting rid of, I'm not donating. I don't think it's sanitary to donate uh, any lipsticks, but I will ask friends if they want them. And then I have some Rouge Bunny Rouge lippies here. These are old, so I'm definitely curious to see if these still work. Uh, this is Perfume of His Gaze. I can't see what that says though something lipstick i wore this quite a bit when i first got it there's the color it's a it's acting a little streaky which i remember it did not do it doesn't smell bad but i smell something i wonder if i should just get rid of it because i know they're super duper old this one is uh, a color gosh this writing is so small a another kind of lipstick but a different kind and this is in shade number nine nothing unknown Oh, that's so pretty. Yeah, this one doesn't, this one doesn't smell like anything. This one has like, doesn't smell bad, but it smells like something, which is weird because I don't think these had a fragrance. So I'll get rid of this one. I'll hold on to this one. I really like that color. And then here's another one, Irreverence, number 27. And this one, it doesn't even look like I used very much. Yeah, I think that smells a little bit odd. So I'm gonna get rid of this. I definitely have plenty of lip colors like this. <laughs> so I will toss this one and I'll hold on to this one. Here is a Gucci lip color in number 40. And this has appeared, I think in one of my um, favorite nude lipsticks. This one still smells okay. And the pigmentation is definitely still there. It's very creamy. I have, wow, a whole bunch of Victoria Beckham Estee Lauder collab uh, lippies here. This one is Victoria in 01. It's starting to smell a little bit like clay, so I think the time is up for this one. That makes me sad. This one is Black Cassis. This one smells okay. So hold on to this. Here is a Nude Spice. This one smells okay. So hold on to that. This one is, ooh, Chilean Sunset. I loved this one. Look at this color. Isn't that beautiful? This one still smells okay too. Oh, it's just that Victoria one so far. And then this one is Brazilian Nude. Oh, this one, it's so weird. It's like, yeah, this one smells a little, a little clay-like. So I'm gonna toss this one as well. All right, so that's all the Victoria Beckham Estee Lauder ones. I'm gonna start up here. Here's some Chantecaille uh, Lip Chics. This is in Ceylon, smells good. Here is Sari Rose. That one smells good. Here is the Lip Veil in Baobab. This one's relatively new. Love that one. So hold on to that. And then I have some Clay de Poe lipsticks. This is a 102 Sweet Song. This is their lipstick Cashmere. And I like these Clay de Poe's. I'm not madly in love with them, but I really like them. This one is in number eight Red Lantern. This is one of the just straight up lipsticks, not the Cashmere lipstick. That is Red Lantern. And those still smell good, which is great. And then I've got some Bobbi Brown. Oh, this is the um, Nourishing Lip Color in Beige Gold. I love this. I don't know, I must press down on lipsticks really hard because whenever I use a lipstick, they always look like I've like crushed it. I don't know. <laughs> What the deal is this is beige gold it's pretty sheer it's just a really nice kind of gold topper i love this i love it on its own actually oh here's another uh crushed lip color this is in bare i think this is the one that i just i don't know i thought was just so much drier whoops was just so much drier than i liked i just want to try these again so i'm going to hold on to this and then i have a bunch of chanel here this one is the la beige healthy glow lip balm in light i'm actually not <laughs> not the biggest fan of this for some strange reason i just find the color to be 
it's just like too I don't know like watermelony I thought it was going to be more sheer it's actually more pigmented than I thought so um it just wasn't what I expected but let me smell this that smells fine and then I have this Rouge Allure number four I think this is one of those limited edition red colors love this it's like a bright warm red one of my favorites and I have a bunch of Rouge Coco lipsticks this is in 434 Mademoiselle classic there is Mademoiselle. It's like a pinky nude. It's so pretty. Here is 436 Maggie. It's a little bit cooler toned. And then here is 406 in Antoinette. And this is a beautiful like coppery brown toned color. Love that. Then let's see, I have some Rouge Allures. This is 168 Rouge Ingenue. Oh, these are, these are kind of old. Let me smell these. Nope, this smells okay still. Look at that beautiful nude color. And then this one is Rouge Allure Velvet in Rouge, I don't know how to pronounce that, Audace, number 59. Here's a, a really beautiful deep wine color. That one smells okay. Hold on to that. And then I have some YSL lippies here. I have, let's see, this is one of the why is the writing so small? Volup Tint in Balm in number eight. This is the one with the lips in there. I really like these. These are fun. And then here is, I think, one of the Volup Shine. These I actually like more. This is in color number nine. And these all smell good. I like the smell of these too. The fragrance is like more of a fruity scent, which I really like. This is uh, a Rouge... Pure Couture, number 70. I don't think I ever used this. This I think I got um, during the Nordstrom anniversary sale. And it was part of like a whole set that is really pretty. I should definitely take this out to use. And here's another one. Oh, number 70. So same color. I think this was another kind of like gift with purchase, uh, like maxi travel size one. Uh, here is another Voluped Sheer Candy in number five. And that's like a pretty wine color. And another Voluped Shine in 12. Ooh, I like this color. A nice bright orangey color. And another Voluped Sheer Candy in one. This is a great beige color. I use this a lot too. It's so pretty. It has like this like hint of gold in there. So nice. It smells good still. A Volup Shine in number 11. Nice beigey color. And another Volup Shine in number 22. This is a great nude as well. A little bit more peachy than the other ones and still smells good. That's good. I know I've had these for a while. All right, my poor arm is starting to get really stained. Um, now we have some Giorgio Armani lipsticks. This is one that I purchased uh, quite some time ago. I used it a couple times and I haven't used it since. It's one of their newer Rouge d'Armani matte colors. It's in 200 and this color is so interesting. It's this like deep brown, but it has like copper flecks in there. And I like a severe looking lip, but it's like so severe. <laughs> I just don't wear it that often, but it's such a cool, cool color. I really have to use this, although I should have used this a lot in in the winter time, but no matter. I definitely have to, I need to maybe rotate my lipsticks in here. Uh, here is a Rouge Ecstasy in 301. This I think was a gift. Um, I don't remember from whom, um, but there is 301, nice orangey color. And here is 202, really beautiful nude color. And here are some shears. So this is 600. I know it's been a while since I used these. That one still smells good. Here, why do I have two of these? Oh, <laughs> why do I have two 600s? I'm gonna see if any of my friends want this 600 because this was definitely used less than the other one. Then let's see, this is 101. This one I, I loved a lot, a lot, a lot. I don't think this is good anymore. This doesn't even feel right. Oh yeah, it smells terrible. Okay, this one is going. And then I have all my Charlotte Tilburys. So let's start right here. This one is, I used to have them in order. <laughs> in order of what, I'm not sure. I think I tried to do it in like color order, but 
that did not last very long. This is Kim KW. And this is a very hard color for me to wear. I definitely have to pair it with a darker lip liner so it doesn't look too like fleshy. That one still smells good. Here is Super Cindy. This is a really beautiful neutral. Um, Hepburn Honey. Love this one. Still smells good. There is Hepburn Honey. I love that nude. Bitch Perfect. Another classic. These are all passing the sniff test so far. Uh, Secret Salma. This one I don't use that often, but it's a beautiful um, cool tone rose. Bond Girl. I love. Love this one. There's Bond Girl. So it's like a browner version of this Salma one. Here is Stone Rose. Wore this one quite a bit as well. It's a very worn toned brown. Oh, Kidman's Kiss. I don't wear this one that much either. It's very pinky pink. And I don't know. I think, I feel like colors like this make my skin look more yellow. But again, I think if you find the right lip liner, you can really make that work. Smells good. Uh, Nude Kate. Oh, I love this color. There is Nude Kate. It's a little bit paler than Hepburn Honey. That one smells good. And what's this? Oh, Love Bite. This is, I think, the very first Charlotte Tilbury lipstick I purchased. I needed a really like warm toned red. And this was before I got into my giant <laughs> lipstick collection. And I purchased this. I love this one. Love it. Still smells good. Here is, ooh, Confession. This has been my, one of my recent favorite nudes. It's, it's just like perfectly neutral love it and i think this was like out of stock for a very long time i think it was limited edition and then it was out of stock for a really long time and i think now it's back in stock so anyway confession probably my favorite like everyday nude it's like a little bit cooler toned than hepburn honey or nude kate it's not quite as like cool or warm leaning than a lot of her other ones so love confession oh opium noir this is a very dramatic color. Isn't that pretty? Ooh, Birkin Brown. This is another one of my favorites. Use this quite a bit. Beautiful brown tone. So here is So Marilyn. This is another beautiful warm toned red. Oh, Pillow Talk, <laughs> of course. Let me put it next to, so Pillow Talk is like a pinkier version of Confession. So there's Confession, there's Pillow Talk. And Confession is in the Kissing formula, and Pillow Talk is in the Matte Revolution formula. So I always opt for Confession over Pillow Talk. And then, oh, Very Victoria. This is a great color too. Another Matte Revolution one, but this is a great kind of like cool toned, deeper nude. See how it has like, it's just a little bit more like purpley in there than the Confession. Woo, that was all the Charlotte Tilbury. All right. Um, Oh wow, I thought I got rid of these. These are the Flower Beauty lipsticks and these are great drugstore lipsticks. I have colors 20 and 30 and I thought I got rid of them because as much as I love these colors and I think the formula is great, it goes on like one swipe, they're a little bit drying on my lips for sure. I wanna say I don't know, after the three, four hour wear mark, I feel like I feel it on my lips, even though I think they're absolutely gorgeous. So I think if you have not super dry lips like I do, you would probably really love these, but I'm going to pass these along. Um, here is, oh, Dose of Colors Aftermath. This was the collab with Desi and Katie. And I like this color. Yeah, it still smells okay. And I got rid of some of the other lip colors that were way too orangey on me, but this one actually ends up okay. It's a little bit more neutral than their other lip colors. And then I have this Orbe lip color, which, <laughs> which as you can see, I used quite a bit and then like I smushed it by accident. I don't even know what happened, um, but this is a really nice formula. The color, I don't know. I don't like the color that much anymore. It's a little bit too peachy. For me, I like colors that are a little bit more neutral, but this I've had forever. It doesn't smell bad, but I really haven't used this, so I think I'm gonna get rid of this, <laughs> this poor thing. 
And then let's see. So I have um, my Urban Decay Basquiat uh, collab. This is abstract and I don't think I'm ever going to get rid of these because I love the packaging. It doesn't smell bad, which is amazing, but there is abstract. And you know, I love colors like that. And then this one is Epigram. And this color I didn't really need, but again, I just wanted the packaging. So I got this one. Yep, that one still smells good. Okay, here is another one of those MAC Charlotte Olympia collab products. Here is the spider web on here. I'm not getting rid of any of these because of the packaging, but this is probably way old. It actually smells fine. Wow. But look at that color too. It's so pretty. Wow. I'm surprised. This is probably four years old and it smells fine. Interesting. <laughs> uh, oh, this is the Bear's lip color from the Estee Edit. And I loved this color, but they're gone. And, oh, this smells a little funky. Yeah, this smells a little funky. And the color actually looks a little bit odd. Yeah, I'm going to get rid of this. And then I have all of my precious Lipstick Queen lipsticks back here. So I have this um, Black Lace Rabbit one. This is one of those like tone lipsticks. It comes out pretty black by itself, but you can just add it over other colors to kind of cool it down if you want. I love these like fun lipsticks from Lipstick Queen. This one still smells good. So I'm going to hold on to that. This one is Nude Metal. Oh, love this. I think this lipstick is the one that got me into like metallicized lip colors. There is Nude Metal. This is Queen Bee. And this is the lipstick that got me into gold lipsticks. But look at that. Yeah, so this Queen Bee lipstick smells like honey, which is so amazing. This one is like a sheer gold color. Love this. I need to pull these back out. Uh, here is, let me see, Pink's Nude Sinner. So they have a Saint and Sinner line. The Sinners were like matte colors, and then their Saint line was like more sheer. So this is from the Sinner line. This is the color Pink's Nude. And then they did a whole release where I feel like it was um, like chess pieces. They had things named like chess pieces. And this one is Night. And I thought this one was really pretty, but I just, I haven't worn it. But it's a really beautiful deep brown color. I should pull these. I should definitely move these forward. And then here is, oh, here's a Saint. So this other one was a Sinner. And this one is Saint Nude. So this one is a little bit more like sheer. All right, so yeah, I've been filming for about an hour now, so I'm not going to do the Tom Ford lipsticks, uh, but I think what I'm going to do is rearrange everything. So what I'm going to do is like fast forward this part for those of you who are into like makeup ASMR. I'm going to kind of rearrange everything in here so that I use more of the lipsticks that were back here, and then I will show you what I decluttered. All right, so let me just show you what doesn't fit in here that I'm just going to throw kind of back on top or move to the other drawer below this one when I declutter that one um, and also show you what I ended up decluttering. All right, so these are all the lipsticks that did not fit back into that drawer. And I kind of left like all the sheer 
finished lipsticks out. Um, these are like liquidy formula, so those actually belong in the other drawer anyway. This doesn't fit in there. And then these are like deluxe, um, like deluxe sample sizes. And then these are just those refills that I think I should just find a different home for anyway. So I don't really know what I'm doing with these. I'm just going to put them like kind of right back on top of um, those lipsticks that you saw organized, I don't know what to do with them otherwise. And then here are the lipsticks that I'm decluttering. So I ended up decluttering the Dose of Colors, the Inglot Jennifer Lopez, because I just felt like I'm not going to wear these. These are just, I have so many nudes, and these nudes are just a little bit, they're like off enough that I never reach for them. I decided, you know what, I just don't like this formula, <laughs> so I'm going to get rid of that. Uh, yeah, and then everything else I decluttered while we were going through it. So thanks so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this uh, very minor declutter, more like a lipstick collection video. And definitely subscribe if you are into videos like this. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye!